Izzy again at Digital Goja Showrooms. Cleaning kits, very important. You need to keep your equipment clean for your best imaging, whether it's video or stills. You want to make sure that you get a kit that works for your equipment. And Altura Photo is the best in the business when it comes to cleaning kits. They literally have any kit for any type of cleaning situation. They even now carry the ones to be able to clean the sensors. They have the full frame and they have the APS-C size sensor cleaning kit. Notice that some of them even come with the new Altura Photo carrying case, so you can take everything with you everywhere you go. Honestly, if you keep your equipment clean, you'll notice a big difference in the image quality. And we'll go over the different kits to show you the different versions, what they come with, and what they will do for your equipment, whether it's photographic, video, or even electronics. As always, if this video helps you out, please hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to the channel for future tutorials and sessions such as this and to share with videographers and photographers. And don't forget, when in Miami, come by and visit Digital Goja Showrooms. I'm going to go over the different tools that come with the various Altura Photo Cleaning Kits and how they're going to help you out in maintaining your camera or whatever imaging unit you use to be able to work properly for many years to come. We have the smaller 7x6 version and then we have the big brother, the 16x16. 16 16. They're available in the grayish silver and the black. Now, I love the smaller one, pocketable, easy to carry with you. Notice how this has a special sawtooth pattern that will not fray and it also is reusable and long-lasting. This reduces use of paper towel and tissue so it's eco-friendly, has no dyes or chemicals, you can use it on all your popular imaging equipment so you can use it on your multi-coated lenses, you can use it on your LCD screens. It works even on electronics so you can use it on standard tablets, on phones, on laptops, and of course, if you have the Big Brother, this guy comes in very handy for TV sets. Because when you have 16 by 16 inches, you have a lot more area to cover. I also carry this, believe it or not, for my full frame cameras because this is a lot easier to work and cover a larger area. And very simple to clean. If you notice, you'll check out a video that I did. All you have to do is use warm water. You don't have to use any solvents and it's douse it in warm water for a little bit and stretch it out, rinse it out, twist it out and let it drip dry. Don't throw this into a dryer because that can actually damage the micro pores that it has in here that allow you to capture the dirt. So if you're in the market you will notice this is available in many of the Altura Photo Kits. It comes in different versions, whether you get multiple of these. You can even buy these in multiple quantities by themselves also. Now we come to the Altura Photo Sprays. We have the NT spray bottle, which people are like, well, why is that included in the kit? What is it for? Well, they did a lot of research and they came to the conclusion that there are some do-it-yourselfers and they prefer the smaller size, which is 20 milliliters and they want to create their own solution. And there's many different formulas out there. I showed one in a YouTube video explaining how to work with a distilled white vinegar and distilled water, 20 milliliters. More economical, because it's empty, you do all the work. Now, the next step is the Altura Photo Optical Spray. This one's been on the market for a while, very popular. It's still alcohol-free, ammonia-free. It has no odor or color. It's going to guarantee to work on lens, glass, and screen cleaner. It comes in a 60 millimeter size and of course with the, the sprayer. So very simple to work with. And now we come to their newest version. This is the Altura Photo All Natural. This guy is guaranteed 100% safe. It also has no ammonia, no alcohol, no odor, no color. It is the safest solution on the market to be able to clean your sensor and your multi-coated lenses. It's guaranteed not to scratch your delicate DSLR or ILC sensor. So also comes in 60 milliliters. 
and it is proven to be the leader in the industry when it comes to cleaning sensors and multi-coated optics. And it is also, by the way, manufactured in the U.S. So there you have it, the three sprays that are included in the various kits from Altura Photo. You again can make a decision of which one's going to work best for you, whether you want to do it yourself, you just want the standard optical, or you want to get the premium 100% all-natural Altura spray. All right, so now we come to the Altura Photo Lens Tissue Paper. It comes with 50 sheets. You can put it in your pocket or in your favorite backpack or carrying case for your photo gear. It's lint-free, so it's not going to give you any kind of residue when you're working with it. And it's meant to be delicate on all glass surfaces. So that means it's going to work on your lenses, your filters, LCD screens safe for multi-coated lenses. It's even going to work on your tablets and your smartphones and everything else that has a screen on it. Very simple to work with. You just tear one sheet out and then you use some of the Altura Photo. Here I'm using the all-natural spray. That's my favorite. One spray pump and then gently in a circular motion Put it across your lens. There, I'm going to get rid of all the nasty smudges that I had on there. All right, I always put that aside so I can throw it away. I don't like to litter and I don't want to mess up the environment. Now I tear out another dry piece and in the same swirling motion, I'm going to get rid of any excess fluid that I might have had on the lens. And there, it's nice and clean. And this guy is really popular for cleaning your viewfinder. A lot of times people are like, how do I get in there? That's a really small area. Well, again, we're going to take out a sheet, fold it up a bit because you only need a small portion. Spray pump there and gently just brush it up on the inside to make sure that you get any kind of oil or residue that gets in there. And now with the dry one, again, clean it out and make sure that you don't have any excess moisture on there from the spray. And there you have it. Nice and easy to work with, compact and great for all your glass surfaces. The Altura Photo Lens Tissue Paper. So most of the kits will include both of these brushes and people are always asking why are there two brushes why do I need two brushes well they're similar but yet they really are very different this is the standard brush this guy is used and I always recommend it to get rid of any excess grit and sand and dust anything that is harmful to your equipment and you don't want to scratch it by trying to clean it with a microfiber or a lens tissue. So this guy is doing all the heavy duty work. So I'm here going around. This camera went to the beach and it's got a lot of sand and grit and this guy is going to make sure that none of this is going to end up harming or damaging any of my glass parts, whether it's the LCD or the viewfinder or the front optic. So that's this guy's purpose. It's to get rid of excess grit and dirt. Now we're going to take a look at how to work with the Altura Photo lens cleaning pen. Notice this has happened to you. You have to admit it. All of a sudden you picked up the camera and you notice that your front element is incredibly filthy. It's all full of fingerprints. So this is where this product comes in. I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove this situation off. All right, so what you first want to do with the lens pen is you want to use the brush portion and you want to make sure that you brush off any excess sand or grit that's on here because now when we go to clean it we don't want to rub that across the front element that will damage your lens now we're going to remove the cap portion and notice how you have the circular area which is a bit concave so it works perfectly for our front element lenses and you're going to, with gentle pressure, rub this across, usually in a circular fashion that works better with a lens, so that you can pick up all the oils that are on there with the special carbon tip. And notice how it's rubberized and it literally 
moves to the circular circumference of your optic. And now to make sure that it's perfectly clean, usually get a little bit of condensation on there so you can look for fingerprints. So blow on it. And if you see any more fingerprints, again, go right over it. And there you have it. Now, the added bonus of this pen is you have a second tip. Notice how this moves around. And now I have a smaller triangular tip with corners, which is great for, guess what else we get dirty nowadays? Our LCD screens. We're going to make sure that there are no pieces of grit or sand on there to scratch it, even though most of these are either with a screen protector or a lot of us try to maintain it grit free, but better safe than sorry. And then turn it around and now use this portion. I'm going to go up and down and straight across so I can make sure that I pick up every single fingerprint that I have on there. And again, if you want to be doubly sure, get some condensation on there and any other straggling fingerprints, you can use the compound over it to make sure you pick it up. And there you have it. Now, it's very important to always put the cap on so that you don't get this on any other surface. Remember, it might stain because of the carbon nature of it. But this is the easiest way to get rid of excess fingerprints on both your LCD and your optics with the Altura Photo Lens Cleaning Pen. Now we have yet another tool that's in all the Altura Photo Cleaning Kits, the blower. This guy is made out of durable rubber and plastic, has a red tip, and it compresses the air. Notice how you have an intake here, and this is the part that you use to actually get rid of any dust particles that are on your camera. Very important. This is something that you should always have with you because the cameras tend to get stuff stuck on it. Notice everything that is on this lens. I can now go ahead and with the forced air, remove any excess sand, grit, or dust that's on there before I go ahead and clean it with my tissue or with my magic fiber and Altura Photo Spray. So this is a very vital portion of a cleaning kit. Way back in the day, we used to have the compressed air, but finally got smart to the fact that that has a propellant that can literally damage your multi-coated lenses and your sensor. So now that's where the blower, as these have become known, comes into play. It's come to become a very important tool in the world of cleaning and maintaining all your electronics. Now we come to the newest member of the Altura Photo Cleaning Kit family, the Altura Photo EVA Carrying Case. This is made out of a special foam that is hard shell, but yet it maintains all your equipment safely in here. So that means all your cleaning tools will fit in here perfectly. So here I have the sensor swabs. So I'm going to put the sensor swabs here. I'm going to take my lens cleaning pen and my brush and place that in there. Also, I have my Artura Photo All Natural Spray that fits perfectly in the mesh area. And then I can put my blower, my lens tissue, and my magic fiber. And now we're going to take a look at the Altura Photo DSLR sensor cleaning bundle for APS-C size sensors. Now, the importance of this bundle is that it is including six of the APS-C 16 millimeter. These guys are 23.6 by 15.6 APS-C sensor cleaning swabs. Notice how they're individually wrapped. These guys are vacuum sealed and they're made of a soft, lint-free, sterile fabric. I'm going to show you right now, show you the difference, because this is meant for crop sensor cameras like the Rebel that I have sitting here on the side. And there you have it. This is the APS-C size sensor swab. This is going to remove stubborn stains on your APS-C sensor, and it's not going to have any friction or static buildup. Now, the important thing is that when you're going to do this, your 
going to have a fully charged battery. You don't want the battery to die in the middle of the cleaning. That could be fatal. And you want to be in a relatively sterile environment. You don't want to be doing this out on the street or out in the open where you're going to run the risk of getting more grit or dust onto your sensor. And the important thing is that you're going to use, as I show you here, the Altura Photo All Natural 100% Sensor Cleaning Spray. This guy is made exclusively for sensor cleaning. You're going to use one pump and you're going to gently rub across the sensor in one direction, flip it and go in the opposite. And then you're going to dispose of this. You do not want to reuse these guys. Whatever grit or oils you pick up on here, you don't want to adhere back onto your sensor if you try to do a secondary cleaning. And now we're going to take a look at the DSLR full frame sensor cleaning bundle by Altura Photo. This one comes with everything you need to be able to clean your full frame sensor DSLR. Now this sensor cleaning bundle from Altura incorporates six of the specifically made sensor cleaning swabs for full frame cameras. I'm going to open one of these guys up to show you and the reason that these are meant for full frames like the big boy that I have sitting here is that it's a 24 by 36 millimeter. Now these are one-time use. It's not recommended to store these after you use them to reuse them because you're going to pick up a lot of dirt on here and you don't want to add that back onto your sensor. So this is again the Altura Photo sensor cleaning swabs for full frame cameras 24 by 36 millimeter. Happy shooting!